With the Farm Bill hearings in Congress coming up, local food shelf directors and leaders came together to share ideas of what could potentially benefit their communities in the latest version. A major portion of the bill would include increased investments in the Emergency Food Assistance Program, providing a backbone to the nation's hunger relief system. But with inflation skyrocketing, the price of food and more people seeking food assistance during the height of the pandemic, the group Second Harvest Heartland reached out to the local community and local community leaders to find the answer to one question. What, are the, what is the solution within the Farm Bill to implement programs to feed people within their respective communities? I don't know how to fix it. I mean, like you said, unless you have the funds or the state steps in and help addresses the transportation issue, it's not going to get fixed. And it's heartbreaking to know there's people out there that need the help and we cannot get to them. And it might be a cluster of five houses, it might be 50, it might be an hour away, it might be 20 minutes away. It doesn't matter where they are, they can't get the food. Raising the, be the, the benefits, making it easier, and reducing the barriers on what people can get. Uh, don't, make, don't decide for folks what they need. Let folks get them. You know, uh, it's not on here, but you know, what about other things people need? The Feeding America 2022 map found food insecurity rates in the 8th Congressional District at 8% or over 50,000 people with child food insecurity at about 16,000. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.